Hi, my name is Dean Paul Denniston, and today we'll be replacing the throttle on your Razer MX350. This is a pretty easy process and should take you approximately 20 minutes from start to finish. You will need the following tools. A Phillips screwdriver, a standard screwdriver, a three millimeter Allen wrench, a five millimeter Allen wrench, a pair of pliers, a pair of scissors, a couple of zip ties, and a spray bottle with soapy water. This process can be completed in four easy steps. Step one, remove your fairings. Step two, remove your throttle. Step three, install your new throttle. And step four, reinstall your fairings. As with working on any electric product, always make sure you turn off the power before you start. Let's get started on step one, removing your fairings. First, we'll remove the seat fairing. To do this, we have to remove three screws, one underneath the gas cap, and two underneath the rear. First, unscrew the gas cap, and this will expose the first screw. Take your five millimeter Allen wrench and start removing that screw. Now you can move on to the two under the rear. Once you have all three screws removed, simply slide it back and lift it straight up. Next, we'll be removing our battery cover fairing. To do this, there are six Phillips head screws that need to be removed. This is where we're gonna take our Phillips head screwdriver and start removing those bad boys. These screws are secured together by a nut on the back side of the plastic. Pay attention as they may fall out and get lost. Once you have all six screws removed, simply slide the back battery cover straight out and set it aside. Carefully separate the front battery cover as there are wires connected to the charging port and power switch. To separate the charging port, simply pinch down on the clip and separate. Now for the charging port, we're gonna use our pliers. Pitch down on the back end and pull straight out. Once you have the wires disconnected, you can take it off and set it aside. And that concludes step one, removing our fairings. Now onto step two, removing our throttle. In order to remove our throttle, we have to first cut a couple zip ties, remove a twist tie, remove our grip, and then we can slide the throttle right off. So let's get started by cutting our zip ties. Take your handy dandy scissors and carefully cut the zip tie holding the bundle of wires. and then cut the zip tie holding the wires to the frame. Now that the wires are free, let's unplug the throttle. Look for the plug with the two orange and two brown wires. You can't go wrong as there's only one plug with these color wires. Pinch down on the connector and separate. Now let's route the wire back out through the number plate. Next, we're gonna loosen up our throttle. Take your three millimeter Allen wrench and slide it in the little screw on the top side of the throttle and loosen that bad boy up without removing it. Once you've gotten it loose, slide the throttle straight back as far as it'll go to give you room to remove the grip. This is where we're gonna use our standard screwdriver and our bottle of soapy water. Slide your standard screwdriver under the grip, pry it up gently and spray some soapy water in there Get it nice and soapy. Once you've gotten it nice and soapy, twist the grip and slide it off. The grip is off, now slide off the throttle. When removing the throttle, be careful not to lose the little spacer. And that concludes step two, removing your throttle. Now onto step three, installing your new throttle. Take your nice shiny new throttle, slide it on your handlebars. Make sure you install your spacer. Now take your grip, spray a little soapy water in there, and slide it on your handlebars. Your grip's all the way on, now slide your throttle back against the grip. Take your three millimeter Allen wrench and tighten the screw back down. Take your throttle wires and route it through the number plate, along the frame, and plug it back into where you removed it. You don't have to worry as it only plugs into one plug. Next, 
take your twist tie back out and bundle up these wires in front. Put one end on first and start twisting it around. Now time for the zip tie. Take your three wires coming through the number plate, run your zip tie along them, and secure them to the frame. Your other zip tie is going to go around all the wires coming from the controller. They don't secure it to the frame, they just hold them together so they're not flopping around. Your zip tie's on, now take your scissors and cut off the excess, carefully. And that concludes step three, installing your new throttle. Now into step four, reinstalling your fairings. Let's start by installing the battery cover that has the power switch and charging ports. Take your two red wires and plug them into your power switch. Doesn't matter which one's on top or bottom. Next, take the wires from your charging port and plug it into the only plug left. Now set it back over the batteries. And take your other side to the battery cover. Slide it on and line up the holes. Once the holes are lined up, take your screws and secure it together. The two short screws go on top and the remaining four longer screws go around the sides and bottom. Battery cover's on now. Take your seat cover, set it on top, and slide it into place. Take your screw and your five millimeter Allen wrench and put the first one underneath the gas cap. Take your gas cap and screw it back on. Now you can take your two remaining screws and put them into the holes under the rear. All your screws are in. Now flip on that power switch and make sure it works. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative. If you are still having any troubles or complications, please feel free to visit the customer support section on Razor.com. Gotta go, Buffalo.